Happy Monday out there, folks. It's Darius Dell here to present our Macro Minute for Monday, February 7, 2022. Starting with markets, we have stocks mixed this morning, commodities down, crypto up, dollar down, global bond yields up, big movers. We have the China Shanghai Composite Index, silver, Bitcoin, and Ethereum all up around 2%. Uh, Swifting gears to the macro front, uh, Friday's January jobs report uh, dissuaded fears of Omicron weakness and will certainly keep the Fed on course to begin removing liquidity next month. Uh, so I thought there were three important themes uh, to highlight uh, in that report. Number one, wage growth accelerating. We saw average weekly earnings accelerate by 80 basis points to 6.7% on a year over year basis. That's the fastest growth rate we've seen since last January, January, 2021. Uh, number two, uh, we, the organic recovery in the labor market is, is still firmly intact. Uh, we saw evidence of this uh, with the U6 underemployment rate ticking down minus 20 basis points to 7.1%. That's the lowest print we've seen since February of 2020. And then lastly, number three, more people uh, joining the labor force, rejoining the labor force as fiscal support by the child tax credit uh, uh, expiring in, in, in December, expiring in January. And then financial assets uh, coming under pressure, especially in crypto, and they're now coming back into the labor market. So we saw a big increase in the labor force participation rate um, that accelerated 30 basis points to 62.2 percent. That's that high. That 62.2 percent is the highest we've seen since March of 2020, and that 30 basis point acceleration is the fastest acceleration we've seen since June of 2020. We also saw the fastest acceleration uh, in the female labor force participation rate since June of 2020, and then also the fastest increase in the 55 year old plus labor force participation rate since January of 1994. So uh, clearly people jump rejoining the labor market as you know, the, the, the other avenues of income, if you will, are sort of uh, crimping up at the margins. Uh, taking it to our uh, global macro risk matrix uh, from an overbought perspective, Euro, 10 year German boon yield and 10 year Swiss yield are all overbought this morning, nothing oversold. Uh, S&P 500, that is still bearish VAMs, minus 8.5% of downside versus 2% of upside. WTI is still neutral VAMs, minus 10% of downside versus 2% of upside. Bloomberg Dollar Index, still bullish VAMs, uh, minus 0.2% of downside versus 1.7% of upside. Taking it to the chart here, uh, Bitcoin, uh, it's been at the uh, upper boundary of its problem range for a couple of days now. Um, and one thing I, I like to call out, so just as a, as a quick aside, for those of you who are new to the program, and we thank you for watching. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, our volatility adjusted momentum signal and our probable range process are quantitatively linked. When, when a security is bearish, it has a fatter left tail in its probable range distribution. When it's neutral, that's a symmetric distribution. And when it's bullish, it has a fatter right tail in its, its, its distribution. So what this is telling you, if this continues to probe its upper boundary of its probable range, it's probably telling you that, hey, this thing might actually flip back to neutral. Um, on its way potentially being back to bullish. That's not necessarily our call, uh, but certainly something to watch here. And there's certainly not some not a place to short, you know, given the, the persistency of this uh, violation of the upper boundary of the probable range. So uh, to the extent that you're a new participant in this in this in this market, uh, definitely give it a few days to check out and see if there actually is a phase transition to neutral VAMs. Uh, similar setup with Ethereum as well. Uh, it's at the upper boundary of its probable range with 32% downside. Uh, again, those things could change if the if the if the VAM signal changes. And then lastly, gold neutral VAM still at the middle of its probable range with two percent downside versus two percent upside. So with that, Darius Dell presenting our macro minute for Monday, February seventh, twenty twenty two. Best of luck out there this week.